And to do that, you need to get centered. Centered, centeredness is the method, it's the technique, it's the path. Write this down if you need to, or come back and watch this video as many times as you have to, that you get centered. What's centered is that you're taking your attention from the outer world. So that's another attachment you have to let go because you're so attached to the news, to your politicians, to your economic situation. You want to hear what's going on in the world. You have to detach yourself from it. You have to bring your, atta your attention inwards towards the Atman, towards the Guru inside you, towards the Buddha inside you, towards the Watcher, towards the observe the witness is here. And it's only watching. So you have to turn your attention in that direction to the center of yourself and let go of the distractions that are happening outside that keeping your attention towards them. What's going to happen in the world? What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to my family? What's ha going to happen to the environment? What happens to the animals? What happens to the land, the forest, the water? You have to take your attention away from them. There's plenty of people who are going to do the job. Don't worry about it. The apparent world takes care of itself. The apparent world takes care of itself. The apparent world takes care of itself. You don't need to worry about it. It was here before you were born and it will be here after you die. You don't need to worry about the welfare of this planet. It's not your job. It's far, far away from your job and your responsibility. Your job is to free yourself from the prison you're in. That's your job. After you're freed, once you reach awakening, once you're enlightened, then your presence by itself will help the planet. But right now you're not there. So buckle up your belt and turn your attention inwards. Get dedicated and practice Zen. Be Zen about it and bring your attention inwards to your own center and travel beyond your mind. Your mind is not your friend. Your mind is your enemy and it's a horrible slave master. So you have to ignore your mind, your thoughts, holy thoughts or unholy thoughts. All your fears, anxiety, and worries are created in your mind. So you have to go beyond the mind by your dedication to be centered. You are still. Your attention is on one-pointedness inside. Your attention comes to that one which is observing. You are observing your thoughts. You're holding your, your seat, your space of staying centered, not reacting to things, not reacting to the world. First, you start with the world. Excuse me.
you retri you're retrieving yourself back by being dispassionate to it. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but that's the way. So you're bringing your attention to the watcher, to the observer, and you're taking the seat of the person, the viewer who went to a movie. You're watching a movie called Life and you're seeing a character yourself in this movie, but you're not the movie, you're watching the movie. So no matter what happens to the movie, it's a script. It was predetermined, it was written, including watching your life, what's going on in the outer world. It's just a movie, it's not real. So your attention is inwards. Your attention is you're paying attention to the observer, not what's being observed. And as you're in this process of simply being the observer, something starts to shift, something starts to change. Because you're touching the center of yourself. In the meantime, you're practicing daily non-attachment. You're practicing letting things go. What do you want these things for? Anyway, especially if you're getting older, especially if you feel the sense of urgency, what are you hanging on to these things? You can't take them with you. Let them go. Start to lighten up yourself. Less is more. It's less things to worry about. Less things you have to worry about taxes. Less things you have to maintain. Less things you have to deal with. Slowly, slowly, prepare yourself for illumination. Prepare yourself for your journey, your next journey. You can't just be caught unprepared that death comes and you're not ready because you didn't get ready. Because when death comes, it's your journey to the next level and you're not ready for the next level. So what happens? You're just going to have to repeat this thing again. Was it fun? Did you like it? You weren't heartbroken enough? You weren't betrayed enough? Didn't you get abandoned? Didn't you get raped? Didn't you get traumatized? Didn't you lose in love? How many times this has to happen to you to get it? How many times do you have to repeat the same thing? When are you going to get it? Get yourself ready for the next level by start dropping the stuff, get rid of them. And prepare yourself for your journey into the next level, a higher level, a different frequency by dropping your attachments. I know it's very scary because fear begins to rise. Worry starts to come and everything goes back to one thing, the I thought what will happen to me? What's going to happen to me?